No, 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 but should, should we invite the TV stations to come on the day? On the day, sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so, who has the contacts? Uh, I do. The president volunteered to do that. Do okay. you think in WLB? Yeah. And WCTV. Mm -hmm. But WLB is closest. Yeah. I, 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 think, I think you deserve a huge, huge bit of gratitude oh, yeah. for all oh, yeah. of yeah. Yeah. Work yeah. 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 I've actually been wanting to do something like this for years, so this is kind of a culmination. Just a point of information, the insurance policy is a part of the event. Did, were, did you it's get any prices if, if for like an annual policy to cover I, all our outings? I think your, John looked into umbrella policies mm -hmm. through the, the river network. It's farther along on the agenda. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. but because we had to, we had to have a, a policy, and we had to have certain criteria. I had to I actually mail it off today to the in order to get to make sure that you know, everybody's happy. I just went ahead and did that. I think it'd be great to have an umbrella policy for the future. Thank you. Thanks for doing that. Sounds like an excellent event. I certainly hope it does turn into annual. Thursday, Karen and Al were there, um, and I suppose it went well or heard no report. I, I heard from Karen, she said it went very well, they had like 250 kids, mm -hmm. and she got out the information about balls, and mm -hmm. good, good. We talked about invasive species, and had very interested kids, and she said the instructor there, the middle school science teacher, was, was very enthusiastic and energetic and interested, and she may be a potential feature member. Excellent. Or at least research. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think Dave is right. <coughs> yes, that's just the kind of thing we need to be doing uh, as is the boat race. Mm -hmm. Do we know anything more about the nature trail? Okay, uh, C Walls fundraiser, I assume you're referring to the Janice yes. Ray event? May 11th. Maybe say that yeah. on the date, May 11th. Do you know anything new about that at this point? We decided to black shank the wing, is that right? Yeah. And someone is going to make an event on both Facebook and the website. Someone. Well, someone. I think that I have the token for the Facebook, not on the uh, not on the not on the Walls website, but I, I think that uh, Karen and Dave and I are on the organizing committee for the fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the event on the website, someone be alert? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, if we could make some allusion to Denise's book, Brooklyn and Mary, that kind of fits with our mission. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. see the right. seat. Okay. We have a side out here to see the. Right. Is, do we know anything more we need to do about the Janice Ray event at this point? We haven't done anything. Um, the subcommittee probably needs to meet. I'll get with Karen. As soon as the boat race is done, we really need to start pushing this one. Yes. Uh, that's in May. Uh, we don't have an April event, but we put that under new, new business. I guess that would be D. Okay. Um, D, the Hotchkiss Landing thing. The simple report is one old boy with a lawyer outranks 350 citizens signing a petition. Why? Because the commission was afraid he might sue, which is by far too common an attitude of them. We've seen it over and over. It's developer might sue. It is possible to file an appeal. It must be done in Superior Court in Lowndes County within 30 days of the commission decision, which I think means by, oh, like next week. There uh, does not fit in Savannah called Stack. It's a law firm that Brenda uh, uh, Dormeyer and uh, who's on the Georgia River 
network board says this is who you call in when you want big guns. April has talked to them. Uh, however, April and her group, the people who actually live in Naylor near the Hotchkiss Landing, have decided they do not plan to file an appeal. Which leaves the situation that if any appeal is to be filed, it would have to be someone else filed. And that probably also means someone would have to pay lawyers. Now, on the one hand, uh, I think Brett has brought up the point before that you know, if we start filing lawsuits as walls, it'll probably get some blowback from the various affected parties on the other side of the lawsuit. And you know, the other side of that is at some point we are going to do that for something. And yes, there will be, which is why we need DNO insurance. Okay, the real question in my mind, and I'm just saying what I think before everyone else will say what they think, is is this particular thing something that's worth walls appealing? Is it a good use of walls, resources, time, and so forth? And um, the other thing that didn't get written on the agenda, although I think I asked for it, was what about the park? Perhaps it would be better for a wall to spend its efforts trying to promote the creation of the park on the Alaska Hall, slightly further down the river at USA 4. I personally, you know, I'm upset about what happened. I don't like seeing people push through things like that. I'd like to, you know, fight back. But um, I think at this stage, uh, building bridges would be my preference than you know, making attacks. And, you know, if we can push the, the park idea, that slide, unless we've got a deep pocket that we can get to lawyers, because lawyers are going to be expensive, and we still need to get our DNL insurance, which we don't have yet. But uh, that certainly has to be in place first. But that will be fixed by next week. The deep pockets is a different question. And, uh, oh, yes, uh, Greenwell, Greenwell did indicate uh, you know, yet another organization that they might be interested in the park idea. But not so much in the right place. Anyway, go ahead. You're saying. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna set the tone for what we're known for if we, if we protest this decision, um, and that could be good. It could be bad. Um, but I was thinking we were more about a watershed, um, educational, high school type program, um, and I don't know if we want to get into these more controversial access issues. Oh, I, I can tell you we already got into it in Atlanta at the same event, which, by the way, Brittany was also at. I happened to run into the lawyer for Philip Connell, <laughs> and Connell had asked him, who's this John Borman guy? <laughs> We're already into it, but yes, of course, this would be getting into it much, much deeper. I also am on the, I mean, I'm, I'm bitter about the aggravates me to no end. Um, but I don't know that we're going to be able to win this one, and I want to be able to win. And if we can win the park by convincing Dr. Acri, um and the commission to work together, uh, then I want to do that. They already theoretically accomplished that. The question is, is it really going to happen? Which is where they could be very useful in following out. Right. And by, cost them money either. I, I, exactly. I mean, the goal should be to maintain some sort of access to the river there, be it park or the landing. And a park, in my opinion, is not going to be in the landing. It's not going to be in the The location that they're proposing, there, they, what they said were willing to say in public was maybe two acres at USA 4, which the people from Naylor immediately pointed out, you know, that's going to be well within sound with all the trucks running by on the highway. It'll be a less desirable location, but you know, some parks better than no access. Yeah, and you know, there's there's uh, certainly precedent. I mean, there's boat ramps along a lot of the bridges. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You go yeah. the Little River south of Rebingham Park, and there's access of not being not to the bridge road and the conventional down at the other mm -hmm. bridges. It's just a yeah. All right, just one more thing about the appeal issue. Remember when Gordon Rogers was here, he talked about uh, a hierarchy of 
kinds of issues that were worth suing under. Top of the hierarchy was denying access for um, recreation, boating, hunting, fishing on a river, which would be exactly this. So from that point of view, this, this would be very much a kind of thing Wall should take on. My opinion is it's not a fight that we really want to take on unless the locals in the mayor are willing to do it, and they're not willing to do it. I think we're not as mature an organization as we need to be too in taking on a legal fight for Steve. I agree. That and the most appropriate lawyer wasn't even willing to discuss it. He could have won it, but he didn't want to talk about it. Which one was that? Greg Odom. You may not have heard of him. He's, uh, he's originally from halfway between Hayhauer and where I live. And um, he's uh, quite a successful lawyer. He has a house in New Orleans and a house in Jacksonville. He spends half his time in New York City and uh, makes nothing of five million here to this school as a, you know, an endowment. And he does take an interest in local issues, but he, he's not even willing to talk about it. Well, it's too bad because he could win. You know, you know the thing is, is when I listened to what Gordon Gordon had to say about the different type of watershed organizations <coughs> um, and their purposes, like the river keepers, and what he said about the lawsuits, and if you were a river keeper, it really sort of appealed to me at our at this stage of development of our organization, I think we could be more effective as we mature by taking on issues that we can win, but also avoiding uh, the lawsuit issues at least until we get much bigger and more, you know, much, much better funded. Um, I hate to lose. I hate it. I'm like Gretchen. It really chats me that what happened. But you know, you win some and you lose some, and I think we need to look at the bigger picture. We're we're just not where we need to be as an organization yet to take on these kind of fights. Well, well, and I agree with John. You know, if the locals weren't willing to take it on, yeah, you no, know, they're the ones that, that use it all the time. We need a firm financial base, I agree, before we start to do it, because they can suck up a lot of funds. Well, in general, I agree with all that. I will raise one point that is on the other side of that. Uh, there's a tiny little organization called NIRS, or Information Research Service, I think is actually what it stands for. They, without a lawyer, contested the Calvert Cliffs three nuclear plant that was supposed to be built. And finally, yesterday, the first time ever, the NRC flat denied the permit. Basically, one guy with no lawyer did that. Yeah. And there was a group up in Van Hill County that was able to defeat the coal-fired mm -hmm. power plant there. Mm -hmm. So it's possible, but yeah. I, I think that Brett brought up a really good point, though. How, the, because we're a group that's just new and forming, how do people think about us? We really need to put our best foot forward on the first big splash thing we do. Do we want this to be it? Yeah. And, and that group in Benito County had a lot of people. I attended some of the meetings, and they were they were very w well organized in getting the message out to push through the through just public relations to stop that. So well, you know who helped them? Flint Riverkeeper. That will come up again in a moment. But uh, yeah. all right, so it's, um, I guess we should probably make a motion or something about what we want to do with this and uh, perhaps something of the form. Unless new information comes up before the deadline, we prefer, we prefer not to appeal. We do want to, in any case, pursue trying to assist in whatever we can, way we can of uh, and getting the park created. Is that more or less what people seem to be thinking? 
is. I, I would like some caveat in there. I'm like, unless new information comes up before the deadline uh -huh. expires about the appeal and goes and something could happen. Does anybody wish, willing to make a motion like that? Sure. I'll second it. I'll make that a motion, John. All right, moved and second, and whatever Nathan wrote down, I guess is what the motion was. What did we just move, Nathan? <laughs> the official motion would be, unless more information becomes available before the appeal deadline, Walls Watershed Coalition will support the creation of a part of the last part. Uh, no, no, no. No, wait, I'm off. Unless more information becomes available before the appeal deadline, Walls chooses not to file an appeal, but in any case, Walls wishes to assist however it can in the creation of the park. In the creation of a public access. A public access. Public access to the park. Right. Which you know, currently is being proposed as a form of the park. Yes. Yeah. Creation of public access such as the current proposal for the park. We wordsmithed it to death. Uh -huh. Okay, motion, the mover and secondary, you agree that's the motion? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, any further discussion? Uh, okay, all in favor? <coughs> any opposed? By the way, uh, you, you can't vote, nothing stops you from speaking up in the discussion. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I got a question that you answered. Yeah. This is a Pretty informal group. Wow, you seem to be excellent at Robert's Rules of Order. <laughs> <laughs> I did standards committees for five years. Uh, <laughs> anyway, all right, so we're finally off of that one, I think. New business, actually, we have two <coughs> items, I suppose. April board meeting, and we don't have an April event. April board meeting, we have a time schedule for that already, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Do you know what the date is? I do. April 10th. April 10th. Same bat channel, same bat location? Yeah, and somebody needs to remember to reserve the room. Who will do that? I will do that on the way out since Dave isn't here. Okay, and we'll need a speaker for the April board meeting. Oh, uh, um, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just going to make some motions if you can Okay. There was a motion from Nathan that someone find a speaker from Tifton for the next board meeting in April. Is there a I'll, second? I'll talk to Dave about it and we'll see what we can do. How about that? Is that a second? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Yay. Any opposed? And Gary volunteered to talk to Dave and see if they can ruffle up somebody. We got another thing, uh, an event for April. We have a date pencil. The 20th. Okay. Do we have any idea what we want to do for an event in April? I'd like to go on, well, I don't know, it's far enough away. I want to go on the on the Withlacoochee down by where the agates are, but I don't know that I want to go there if there's been a wastewater overflow yeah. and we spent, yeah. sent yucky water down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's actually clean. So we've been on the Akaha, we have been on the Little at that point. Right. So we need to be able to go a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And our supposed contacts up on the Willacoochee never seem to participate, so uh, it'll probably take time to organize something up there, but something on the Willacoochee we can do quite easily. Actually, we, we, we were on the wasn't there the packing trip outside of Willacoochee on the Willacoochee? No, that was no, the Alapaha. That was the Alapaha. No. The names are confusing. It was the city of Willacoochee, but it's next to the Alapaha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the Willacoochee comes into the Alapaha and work it there. And we could try to get Tom Baird involved in the agate, because he knows all sorts of stuff about that. Okay. Are you volunteering to? Sure. I'll, um... You mean, can we get someone else as a committee? Uh, Is that in Georgia or in Florida? It's in Georgia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just Tom Baird knows a lot about that kind of stuff, so he can probably I'll advise like, us where it is. I'll ask Don, too. Yeah. Don, whose last name I always forget. Davis. 
Don Davis with the Colorado Spines County Museum. Uh, do we need a motion or? No. Um, Brittany sent some mail, um, which everyone should have received, saying, I'm in North Carolina for business and will not be at the meeting. We still need $400 for the 501 submittal. I called Dave, and I said, Dave, where are the paper? Did you mail it back to the accountant? He said, no, I didn't mail it to the accountant. I mailed it in. It went to the IRS. So we were supposed to put a check in there, but he didn't mail the check in. So the submittal went without the check. So I don't know what will happen when it gets the IRS and it doesn't have a $400 check in. Um, we have $260 in the bank account because the bank statement just came and since Brittany's not here to get it, I opened it today. We have $260. So to add up to $400, we need $140 to mail, then we'll have the $400 to mail to the IRS. Well, I had a check rate written out for the, for the River Network and it went out to Walls. Okay. Gary was going to put in 50 bucks. We'll see here at Gary's where I was talking about this is going to come out. Yeah. So that would be 100 bucks right there. He's so, going to do it okay. No, okay. okay. Do, I guess my question, John, is do I owe you 50 bucks or do I owe Walls 50 bucks? Well, what I'm getting at is we would count the 150 I paid Georgia River Network as an in kind donation from me to Walls. Mm -hmm. And that and uh, so that instead of me putting in money towards this and, and saying, well, I just did for this other thing. Mm -hmm. So then if you and Brett put your 50 bucks in for this, see what I'm getting at? Yeah, yeah just right yours to Waltz. Okay. So yours to 360 and right. uh, a week and a half. So how much do we need? We need a total.